Alright, hello everyone, my name is Shep, welcome back to the Butcher's Circus, and today we have a very special background going, because it is the face red droopy eyes background. So if you are completely clueless right now and have no idea what the hell is going on, you probably didn't watch the tournament, or, you know, you didn't watch the tournament for too long, because at some point in the tournament, someone, which I think was Gonzo, just started making <laughs> funny jokes, funny Butcher Circus related jokes, and putting this emoji in front of it. And it just became an absolute legendary meme. Everyone just started memeing around with it and just using this emoji <laughs> over and over again. And uh, yeah, it is quite a funny one. And I've decided to replace literally every single face I could in the background with the face red droopy eyes. Because honestly, it's just such a silly emoji. Look at it. I also changed my name to face red droopy eyes. It's just so silly. It's one of those YouTube emotes that no one ever uses, but that actually looks quite funny. Look at this guy. Look at this guy right here. The compression from the background is actually making him look so funny too. Yeah, it's actually hilarious. So, today we're doing a best of three against Medella, and I am playing the Halo Comp but fun, that's what I call it. I mean, I have a little bit of a of an interesting setup today. I have Spiked Bat on the Bounty Hunter. Why is that? Well, to get the bleed with the Caltrops in case there was an enemy Crusader, but it looks like there's no Crusader. This is a Mark team, and it is very much ready to kind of just dominate me. It's kind of like a Halo Comp, but instead of... Uh, instead of a crusader, there's an occultist, which is definitely an interesting idea. I'm not sure if it's the correct one, but it is an interesting one. I could move to position one right now. That is genuinely not a terrible idea, <laughs> because I'm about to get destroyed. I very much am about to get destroyed here. So moving to position one wouldn't be... Uh, wouldn't be that uh, wouldn't be that dumb. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I, w I wish I had solo, but honestly, this is a bleeding team. I have Hounds Harry, I have uh, Bloodred Corner to Harvest, I have Spiked Bat, so Spiked Bat uh, on the freaking uh, Bounty Hunter, so it is pretty obvious that with a team like this, I'm going to be wanting to bring uh, the Harvest, but well, it's perfectly okay, we're, gonna, we're just going to drop this, and we're going to have a lot of damage with the finale, even without using the finale boss, and we're probably going to be able to take this occultist out. I just don't want to get hit immediately by, by a sniper shot, lose all my HP, and then die immediately, like, that wouldn't be too smart. So here my opponent goes for the come hither. Interesting decision making, I wish I had another Caltrips to drop. <laughs> Can you imagine? Caltrips number two, Electric Boogaloo. And instead I'm gonna go for a pull on the Arbals, which does indeed work. Now, there's a bit of a problemo here, which is the fact that Stabilizing Tiller has pulse damage and crit versus Marked. They have pulse accuracy, they have they have a Piercing Coral, so if they do decide to go for a Bola here, they can still hurt me quite significantly. Open, op hopefully it doesn't completely demolish me, but... Um, yeah, 12 damage with a bullet. That's kind of outrageous, if you ask me. That is kind of outrageous, but right now I'm just gonna go ahead and drop a Turk Snap. Uh, this is a better hit chance. 8 to 14, I do 11. That's a very decent damage roll. Yeah, I'm not gonna complain about 11. I'm most definitely not gonna complain. Bold Red Coin really makes your damage with the Dresser kind of go from, you know, super mediocre to actually reasonable or reasonably decent. Do they have a finisher there on the doggy? Yeah, I mean, on the Chester. They do have a finisher on the Chester, so I'm just gonna click this. A good thing here is that I do not go first. No, that is not a good thing, Shep. <laughs> not going first is not a good thing. So I'm not gonna be able to make use of the regen as much as I as I would wish to, but I'm still gonna be able to heal myself here and things will be uh, perfectly okay for a bit, because now even if they hit me again, I will have regen, and since they don't have stuns, they can't really deny my regen too well, just deny my actions at the same time. Overall, it's a pretty it's a pretty happy time for me right now. You're gonna go for a dirty stab, but once again, I can just click and I can drop either a Harry or a uh, Hound's Rush, but I am gonna drop a Harry here. I get a crit on it, which, which is definitely very, very helpful. The idea behind the Halo Combat Fun is that instead of going for the Mark Pressure, you can just remove your opponent's health bars through all the bleeds. You can see their health bars look like trash right now. The Occultist is dying, the Bounty Hunter is dying, the Arbos is okay because she had more Bleed Res and she has more HP, and you know, for some reason she's a very tanky backliner. The Jester is also dying. I didn't drop the Caltrips, I mean, I didn't drop the Battle Bell, but I've been quite lucky so far. They want to go for that. Ah, uh, do I want to heal here? Or do I want to just... Because I could just finale right now. I should do 9 to 16, except with this I should do more. Oh boy, it's risky. <laughs> it's risky. 
Oh boy, okay. Instead of doing that, I'm just gonna kill here. I think it's still okay to do this. Uh, yeah, I think this is still okay. There was definitely an idea in just dropping the, the finale here. Oh, they really? Now I definitely drop a finale. Oh, that is very awkward. You should not be doing that. That's a misplay of the century. The reason I should have dropped the finale earlier, like if I had a confirmed hit uh, kill trance, is because then my Hound Mouse would be in position 1, the Arbles wouldn't be able to shoot anyone. Well, apart from the Chester, but at that point the Chester is, you know, he's, he's dead already. So now I can I can drop this uh, pretty much without, uh, without even flinching too much. So now that Bounty Hunter is gone, and they still have a chance to drop the finale here, right? So they can just go for the shot, uh, get a crit on it, kill my Houndmaster after that. So they can definitely do uh, more than a couple nasty things here, but at the same time, I think this is uh, I think this is okay. Should I go for a 50-50? Or should I go for a 50-50? I'll go for the 50-50. <laughs> 15 damage, yo! Yeah, that extra 10% damage from the spiked bat actually helps quite a bit. Brings my damage up from 7 to 14 to 8 to 16. That's nice. Now the Jester is at the star. He's probably gonna finale my doggy here. That's that's what I would do. So yeah, goodbye doggy. You did well, but that is actually a crit. That is helpful uh, to me, I, I think. Yeah, I do believe that is helpful. It's a shame I can't stun the Arbles right now. I would love to do that. But instead of that, I'm gonna have to drop a heal here on the Jester. The reason I drop a heal is because he still has a mark on him. So the kill shot was quite good. So I don't want to let that happen, obviously. And now my opponent has to do some, has to make some decisions. I still have to finish on my bounty hunter, so even though he's a weird character, like he's not that weird. Yeah, he's not, it's not as weird as that. But they go for that play, which means I probably just want to drop a finish him here. 14 damage, god damn, bounty hunter, you're doing really well. Yeah, that 5 prompt barely reduces my damage over there. I like it. They're gonna go for self heal here, the heal for 17, which is definitely a bit more than I wanted to, to see. Uh, you're not dropping to zero just yet. You will be in next round though if I do this. How about this? How much damage? Oh, that could not do enough. That could not do enough. Let's do this instead. Getting rid of the corpse here is also good for me. So let's just go ahead and do that. The Arbos will have a bad time here, which is exactly what I want. If she does try clicking, she will uh, She will eventually just perish. What is my opponent going to do? Really stab on the round hunter. Yeah, yeah, it does, does hurt. It is gonna hurt with that sniper shot. I wonder if they're gonna go for it. Probably not, but... Yeah, we do a stun here. Mineral on the stun. That is very unfortunate. Yeah, this occult is gonna stay alive for a bit. That heal for 17 really helping Medela out here. Now, they have to heal themselves, or they just die on the spot. I mean, if they want to just die on the spot, they're gonna lose the match anyway, because I have a Crusader and they don't, right? That's why the Crusader is so powerful. You have a Crusader, your opponent doesn't, and uh, things just turn out better for you. So even if they kill my Bounty Hunter now and then kill my Chancellor by the start of next turn, I still have a Crusader at the end of the match, so I, I really don't uh, really don't mind all that much. I think this is still very much running for me. Uh, let's see, the Chancellor goes masochistic, that's, uh, that's actually not fine. I do not have a finisher, so that's not going to be the problem, but... Um... The corpse isn't going away, but I can make it go away. Please hit. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Well, they're gonna click here first, because they're stunned and dazed. So after they do that, I go for a stun on the Chester, and uh, we kind of just take it from there. Yeah, we kind of just take it from there. Maybe go for a kill onto the Occultist with my Dirk Snap, something of the likes. And yeah, this is just a power of the Crusader. I don't have double stun trinkets, but Zealous here is maybe even better than just trying to stun over and over and over again. So, just uh, having the Crusader in the hill combat fun is definitely going to be a helping hand. So, we go for the Dirk Snap, don't get the kill, but that's one step closer to getting the kill. So, that's perfectly okay for me. And they don't have a confirmed death blow here. They have a 60, if they do want to take my Chester out that way. They are dropping to Death Store here. They go Stygian, really. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny that they go Stygian. Uh, in that case, I could heal. Hmm... Do I want to heal? Na, 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 na. Yeah, let's heal. Why not? Let us drop a heal. This is a best of three, by the way, if I forgot to mention. So it is. Uh, there's still quite a few things to to come, I imagine. So they drop a harvest here. If they drop a harvest, I will also drop a harvest. I do not mind whatsoever. They actually failed to get the bleed on me with a 90% chance. I don't think that'll matter all that much. Ah, thank you, Chester. Much much appreciated. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the Dirk Snap here, even though they were dropping to the store. There really isn't too much else I can do right now. 
but it's still okay. I still have a Crescendo for the end of the match. I think Medella is somewhat crazy if he, if he thinks he can still win this, because he definitely can't. Well, they're going to go for the Dirk Sam now. They do not take the kill. They are no longer stealthed, though it didn't really make too much of a difference. And right now I'm just going to go for the stun first, and then I'm going to go for the death blow. And, well, you know, we get the death blow with the stun, so that's nice. And now it's uh, what would be a 1v1 between the Jesters. A losing 1v1 for me is not going to be a losing 1v1. Oh, come on, <laughs> not having finisher really sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, it is not a losing 1v1 because, once again, yeah, the Crusader is just, is just chilling. If you kill my Jester here, things are actually going to get worse for you. You want to know why? Because now you give me plus 10 accuracy, so now I definitely can't miss the stop. So that is uh, that is very much helpful for me. And I could have flicked them just to make sure that my stun does land. Medella says now I love stuns, I love stuns, I love stuns. Yeah, I'm sorry buddy. This this isn't even a stun team. This is the Halo Comp at fun. This is the Halo Comp that doesn't feel as oppressing as the usual Halo Comp or the WD or stuff like that, but that is goodbye to your Chancellor and the Crusader. Really is the boss of this gym. Takes it with all the red faced droopy eyes spectators just watching it. I don't remember all the jokes, but I do remember one that kind of stuck with me. It was like, uh, my face when I point blank shot someone in the face and they die instead of dropping to their star <laughs> and I go to prison. It was something like that. It was, it was hilarious. Definitely watch the fonts. They're all like, I don't know, like a dozen jokes. A dozen butcher jokes were like the jokes. They're all pretty fun. But let's go on for match number two. Alright, and here we are for match number two against Medella, and it looks like they have the Tortoise team for, for today, and I have the, um, what did, I, what did I call this guy? I called it Salix Prot, right? That's what I called it, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and uh, this isn't really a great matchup because we're playing against a lot of stress output. Oh god, really, no regen here. Yeah, if I had a Mark team, I could, I could deal with this quite easily, but oh well, what can I do about it? Um, how should I start the match off here? I'm thinking a command buff wouldn't be too, wouldn't be too bad, but instead I'm gonna drop a bolster. I feel like this is perfectly reasonable, just to give myself a little bit of dodge. Yeah, this is definitely a losing matchup for me, because my opponent has a very aggressive stress team here with uh, all the trinkets set up that they've, that they've done. They probably expected me not to play the same team, or the same kind of team, and they expected well. I expected them to play damage. Medell is the kind of player to just go, um, to just go... WD, so I expected something like that to happen. I do have one secret tool in my advantage, which is the Inspiring Cry. It's definitely going to help with all the stress output, but, you know, it's it's not going to be that helpful. It's just going to help me out a little bit. I'm still going to drop the block here. I feel like it's going to be helpful overall, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Did they drop the command buff? Uh, they did. They did drop the command buff immediately. And here comes the Reign of Sorrows, and it does actually get a hit, so... Yeah, my Grave Robber is already having a bit of a rough time here, but I'm gonna click and I'm gonna go for the Toxic Trickery. Just give myself that sick, that sweet 64 dodge, so now the Vessel Artillery isn't too likely to hit. Uh, I say isn't too likely, but they can just go for the Demon Spool. That is definitely an idea for them, but if they do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, move forward here. I don't mind all that much. They shouldn't hit me with the Zealous unless they're exceptionally lucky. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Hmm. <laughs> Things are not coming up Shepherd Doggy. No, they are not coming up Shepherd Doggy. Do I really have to guard here? I do not want to guard. Uh, the problem is, if I drop a Shadow Fade, yeah, they have uh, they have Eerie Eye. So, damn, they counterpicked me to oblivion. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop a Defender then. I feel like I need to keep the Grave Robber alive here at all costs so she can take out that Occultist. So I'm just gonna do this and kind of just enjoy myself for a while. The Flagellant can keep people alive for... Uh, a while too. I don't think guarding the occultist here is the smartest move. I can just focus someone else down. Uh, though, you know, it's not it's not the dumbest move by any means. Uh, in that case, let's just start dropping punishes here onto the flash. It's gonna exhaust them a little bit. It's not gonna accomplish too much, but you know, I'm not gonna go for 30% chances on the Crusader, so let's just uh, let's just do that. At the same time, you, sh you could be focusing down the Crusader instead. Ah, yes, my favorite, the double crit. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm loving it. I am loving it right now. Ceiling spaghetti go brrrr, says, uh, says Medella. God damn it. I feel like all the red eye droopy faces right now, or the face red droopy eyes, yeah. I don't, I don't know why I call it red eye droopy faces, that's just what I, what I, uh, 
What did the fall do? Ah, yes, more crits. Keep going, I'm loving it. More crits, yes, hit me with all of them. Hmm. Well, in that case, uh, I heal 33 strength, so let's let's drop this here. Keep that Crave Robber completely out stressed. I heal 33 stress and I clear the horror at the same time. So I do have a tool to deal with the Abyss Artillery here. I think Silic had Holy Lance, but I generally prefer Inspiring Cry here. I feel like against... Wow! Bleed on my Crusader! Yeah, more. Do more stuff like that. I'm... <sighs> yeah, I feel like just having the Inspiring Cry here is gonna... Is gonna overall be more useful to me. Okay, let's go ahead and drop yet another Panic Darts, right? Or do I wanna drop a Shadow Fade? I feel like dropping Panic Darts here is just gonna be better overall. It's gonna kill this Crusader, and uh, they do have Redeem, but I don't think they're gonna be able to keep that Crusader alive even with Redeems. Let's just do that, and here comes the Vista Artillery. They are stacking up this chest quite a lot, so I am, I am able to clear it here, which is most definitely what I like. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's drop it on that uh, on that mana rush right now. He does have numbing instance. The mana rush does have numbing instance, and of course Crusader has a uh, quarry standard, so it is a bit of minus stress minus stress taken. Also the virtue chance. <laughs> you never know. I could just go courageous here. That would save my match. Oh, they're gonna go punish. Yeah, that's that's a crit as well. Crit, 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 crit. Yeah. Okay decision making hmm they are gonna drop to this door if i drop uh, the punish here i am i am just completely screwed on my on my men arms i'll be able to drop a redeem though what if i just focus the crusader down instead that's an idea uh, i'm gonna try i mean at least i do stress right i'm, I'm gonna try well i think that's uh it's not a, an unreasonable play to try stressing him out with that so they're gonna go for the zealous here yeah they're hitting me pretty hard they might get me afflicted though, or they might give me the resolve check I need to, to get that virtue. I would love to see that happen. Well, let's just drop this, and then we're gonna drop a punish on the Crusader, and uh, then we're gonna drop another Panic Darts, hopefully get a crit with my very high crit ability. That hasn't been getting a single crit, uh, so maybe maybe we can see that, uh, maybe we can see that happen, hopefully. Uh, though if I do that, I will drop to this door here, so it is definitely on the risky side of things, but I have a heal. So if that does happen, I will just heal all my other characters if they want to try going for something like that. Do I get to bleed? Oh, I do! Oh, they're dropping down to zero. That's really good. Okay, okay, that is actually game-changing because now they go fearful, which is... which gives them dodge, but it shouldn't matter too much. And uh, now they are in a bit of a rough spot here. Are they going to go aggressive on my flash? They are! They are going to go aggressive on my flash while they think they can punish me. I disagree. I have a heal here with the Crusader. I don't imagine this is uh, this is the smartest move for them. It's definitely what they're going for, but I don't imagine this is what they should be doing. They should be putting this squeeze on my backline because they were definitely killing it rather well. But if they want to do this, they'll do, then they'll just heal all my other characters. They have one Bell debuff here and Fearful, so I think this is good. They're gonna drop another crit with the Abyssal Artillery. Yeah, more crits. I mean, you're gonna give me the virtue chance. You're gonna give me the virtue chance. Oh, the crit let them do two damage against the 80 prods, so now I'm dropping to this door. Ah, yeah, I love it. I love it so much. I wanna keep guarding. Uh, not really. Not really. Let me be honest, not really. Um, I couldn't miss, can I? Yeah, let's drop the command buff here. Make sure we make sure we don't miss. And uh, just take it from there, right? Just take it from there. Okay, once your Crusader does go down, it's gonna be quite good for me. He goes back, so he has the Holy Lance here, or he can go for heal. But if he goes for healing, I can just drop a Panic Darts on him and he's not gonna survive too long. So let's just go ahead and do exactly that. Ah, do I do the three damage instead of doing the four? <laughs> ah, of course, man, of course. Okay, okay, my favorite. I might have to risk it for the biscuit here, or do I want to just drop an immediate redeem? Oh god, the stress on that Crusader. Wish I had time to drop a, um, a defensive move on him, but let's just do this and drop a redeem on there. Yeah, I'll do that, and uh, let's just chill. Just chill for a little bit. The Crusader is going down. I really wish I had gone in like... Just the one crit with the panic darts, you know? The crit chance is so good, it's a 25.5. Would have been very helpful to get one crit with it. 
But, you know, I understand if you do not want to give me the crits. I perfectly understand. It is it is fine. It is fine. Not gonna complain that much. Well, I am gonna go irrational. <laughs> My favorite. And, um... What did he say? I could... I could eat the luster off this plate? Jesus Christ, irrational. I'm just gonna go ahead and maybe drop a stress heal on myself? Or on the men of arms. Mm, let's drop it on myself, just clear a lot of that horror, make sure I don't die immediately. Yeah, definitely uh, gonna help me out a little bit here. And kind of just take it from there. They're just gonna drop another best artillery, which makes sense. I do still have a virtue chance, so hopefully that does, uh, that does matter. But they're gonna go for that, huh? Interesting. Hmm, that means I can try focusing the occultist down if I want. Uh, yeah, sure. Crit? Nope. No crit? No crit for the shepherd doggy. Not a single one. They haven't even dropped a bolster. I don't know what Matt is doing. They haven't even dropped a bolster, but I haven't gotten a single crit with my panic darts. Have I gotten a single crit this match? I got one crit punish. That's the one crit I have gotten this uh, this entire match. The one crit punish. Come on, 15. Come on, 15. Oh, I go hopeless. Unfortunate. Well, I do still have the accuracy bell, so let's just do this. One step closer to killing that Crusader. And uh, he does a little bit of stress on everyone. Okay, nice. I appreciate that. He's dropping to that door here as well. He has a lot of bleeding and blinding for a lot of rounds, so even if he drops the Holy Lance now. Yeah, that's a dodge. There we go. That's what I like to see. That's what I love to see. And right now I can just drop a... Let's just drop a Panic Darts here. I could have just dropped a Bellow first. But let's drop the Panic Darts. Then Occultus is now going down to zero. Yes, the extra stress make him go afflicted. Nice. He's going down to zero in two rounds. So that's definitely very helpful for me. The Panic Darts here is definitely saving me. Of course they go fearful so they get the dodge affliction. But watch them never pass. <laughs> watch them never pass despite the fearful. Yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen. Well, they're gonna go for a punish on me, they're gonna get to bleed, and I'm going down to this storm. So that sucks, but now what can I do about it? Let's just go ahead and drop another bell here. Hopefully get some stress going. Self-mark. Thank you, Hopeless. And a little bit of stress being dealt onto that Crusader. Extra stress? No, no. Fearful, no. Okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna complain too much. I do have to move forward manually with the Crusader if I want to. They still have an accuracy buff, but yeah, they don't have any damage, so they don't really hurt me that much. So I'm, I'm happy here. I could... Okay, that's exactly what I was considering doing, because that would prevent my Platron from dropping to that store. So that is what I was considering, and it is what I end up doing as well. So right now I do actually have a bit of a of a winning play here, if uh, Fearful decides to be Fearful. Just depends on what happens, but I'm gonna go Rapturous right now, and I have a Punish onto the enemy Flagellon. Should do enough damage. Yeah, very unlikely that it doesn't do enough damage. 5 to 12, and it gets a crit. The crit isn't too good here because uh, it crits that uh, Crusader, so now he's actually not dropping to Death Store immediately, which is definitely unfortunate, but fearful. Fearful! Fearful, fearful, fearful. I like it. I like what you're doing, fearful. Do I want to drop an Exsanguinate right now? Yeah, screw it. We dropped the Exsanguinate. Ooh, crit heal. I like it. And Rapturous? Ouch! Hmm, no 20s. Oh, crit 30 though. Okay, I will I will take that. Jesus Christ, this match. <laughs> this match. The dice, it just keeps rolling. It just keeps rolling, and I don't know who's winning or losing. Yeah, if you had to analyze the match at this point, who do you say is winning? Yeah, it's difficult to say. You know, that, that Crusader could have just passed right there. You know, just, just letting you know, he could have just passed at that exact moment with, with the fearful, but, you know, if you want to take risks like that, be my guest. Let's go ahead and drop a... Who goes first? I do. I go first. Let's go ahead and drop a panic time. Drop ah, Okay, okay. Okay, two fearful passes. Yeah. Ooh. Oof, 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 oof. Two fearful passes, huh? Wonderful. Okay. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Let's move forward here. 
let us move forward. Wish I had Holy Lance, but it will be fine. He's dropping to this store anyway. And he won't be after the after the heal, but Well, will he? Does he heal for more than four? I doubt it. I doubt he heals for more than four, but they might drop a redeem on him, because they have to drop a redeem somewhere, but they might drop it on the Crusader as well. So I'm not entirely sure. I'm definitely gonna have to drop a command here though, because you know, just Lots of passes. No, they heal for four. Yeah, they heal for four. Lots of passes today. Lots of passes. They go for the exsanguinate. Does that bring me right back down to zero? I don't imagine it does with 21. 21? No, I don't. I did not imagine it brings me back down to zero. Well, let's go ahead and drop the zealous here. Uh, it's zealous time. Yeah, it's zealous time. Is it? It's probably gonna miss, to be honest. I have 85 accuracy on it. Yeah, I should have dropped the command buff, shouldn't I? I tried! Twice! He said no! It's okay. No, don't uh, don't stress too much, Shep. Okay, they're dropping down to zero here. Come on, third fearful pass in a row. Nah, they do get they do get their action at last. And they hit me as well at the store. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna go for the 25. Irrational. I have two irrationals. Yeah. Yeah! Two irrationals! Yeah! My favorite! Mmm! Two irrationals and a hopeless. Oh, now they go for the guards. Fearful say no. Ah, good job, Grave Robber. You've been doing so well. You've been doing so well. Not. Okay, zealous time. Uh, I Oh, I actually still hit. Despite everything, I actually do still hit here. Come on, Fearful. I need a pass from you. I need a pass or something. Fearful? Yeah, that's what I need! That's what I need! Oh, it took 24 damage! Come on, punish crit with the death blow! Oh god! Okay, that's very helpful. That is very helpful right there. Oh, this match, dude, this match. I don't know who's winning this. Like, if they had Rancid Cure all here on the Men Arms, maybe they would win. Because uh, then my Flashbombs would be unable to deal with that Men Arms, but since they don't, I think I might, I might win here. I might, emphasis on might. Um, bellow time, right? Yeah, it's bellow time. Let's call some stress there to the occultist. Call some very nice stress. 17. 17 additional stress. I like it. And now I have three attacking moves against that fire tron. So if they try clicking him and don't heal, I can just I can just hit him pretty hard. That is a bit of stress. No passes. How much did he hit me for? Two? Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, that Men at Arms isn't lasting too long, let's be honest. He's not lasting too long anymore. I could heal him like this and go for a redeem on, on her. Is that the plan? Oh, I might self-hit. Yeah, that's, a, that's a risk I have to take. That is a risk I have to take here. Let's go for the redeem. Thankfully, Rational doesn't say no. No crit heals. No, where's my, where's my crit 30 now? <laughs> I needed it. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, we'll be fine here. Alright, they're gonna are they finally gonna drop the bolster? Have they realized it's been nine rounds and they haven't dropped the bolster? No, no, Medell is looking to be very aggressive here. Yeah, they go for the bellow, even though they don't have a bellow set up. Yeah, they, they just don't drop the bolster. Don't ask me why. I don't know why they're not dropping it. I think they are they are definitely being kind of on the crazy side of things. So let's go ahead and drop a panic dart on whoever we can, honestly. It's tea time, she says. It's tea time. Hasn't she done that like twice or three times already? Jesus. How many passes this match? I want you to tell me, dear Anon, how many passes this freaking match? Oh my god. Okay. Agilent. He has to go for the heal here. He's gonna go redeem. It won't heal for very much. Yeah, it only heals for 15. That's fine. Uh, Zealous isn't gonna do enough damage, though. Yeah, let's keep that in mind. It's gonna do... Three with a crit. <laughs> oh, it does get the affliction though. Okay, that's helpful. Thank you, Zealous. You, you did you did good. Yeah, you did good enough. Uh, it makes him go rapturous. I have to drop like a panic darts on him though, which I kind of don't want to. But oh yeah, oh yeah. Pass after pass after pass after pass after pass. We love it. We just love it. Pass after pass after pass after pass. It's not hopeless, Medelli. He says, hopeless, can you stop? It's He's not even hopeless, he's fearful. What is... I don't know. 
I don't know what to say. Yeah, I hopeless. I do hope you stop. I do. I do hope you stop. That doesn't make sense. You're telling a hopeless person that you hope something. Yeah. But you know, I just keep passing, so it's fair, right? Yeah, it's perfectly fair. Oh, they dropped a guard. They dropped a guard. Could I make use of that? I definitely could. Uh, I'm probably dead here anyway. Do I want to, do I want to save the man arms? I mean, yeah, but. I gotta save her more. Let's do this. Make sure she doesn't uh, die to the stress that quickly. And uh, now they're gonna click there, but I do have a punish to drop. Yeah, I do have a punish to drop next round. They're still gonna have minus healing skills, which is good. Uh, they are. They still have three heals. Oh, did they get it? Did they get it? Oh, they do. Damn. They do get the punish there. And I do stress on everyone. Yeah, he was dead anyway. It's fine. Please don't cause extra stress on the Grave Robber. Okay, just a Crusader, that's fine. Oh, nice crit heal. I like it. Do I want to risk it for the biscuit? With the Yixang, or do I want to punish? Oh, god. You probably want the Yixang here, right? Yeah. Probably want the Yixang. They're gonna drop to this store now. I can just drop Panic Darts on that, on that Occultist, though. If they, if they have to go for the heal here, I will just drop the Panic Darts. Okay, a bit of extra stress. Maybe Rapturous oofs themselves. There's a chance. There is a chance. No, no act out. He's gonna go Xang on the Crusader. No, my lovely Crusader. Please don't plead. Okay. That's good. That's good. I'm definitely gonna go Panic Darts on that Occultist though. Come on, Grave Robber. Okay, she actually acts for once. And she actually hits as well. Oh, I do too much stress though. It was a bit too much. Mm. He still has a heart attack though. That's good. Yeah, he can guard now though. He has to guard. If he doesn't guard, he dies. So, uh, yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't have to guard immediately. But uh, fearful does a little, little something. Something doesn't accomplish too much. And they go for a pull on my grave robber. No, my poor little grave robber. Ah, oh, please stop! Please pass! Stop! Stop passing! You two irrational dumbasses! Jesus Christ! They still go defender. Yeah, I'm gonna move uh, all the way to the front right now. Yeah. Can't I get a good act out? Like, you know, that, that'd be good. I love getting a good act out from one of these irrational fellas. You know, not a pass. That's that's a good act out to me. No, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop a punish here on that flagellant. Make him go back down to zero, right? That's the idea here. So let's just do that. And uh, I still have one Exsanguinate. They have one Exsanguinate and one Redeem, so they have more heals than I do. Which isn't good. It's definitely not good. But once again, I have Glorious Standard. <laughs> Look at this guy, by the way. <laughs> Just... Yeah, the pass! Yeah, let's go. I'm probably gonna pass too, though. No worries. No worries, man. I, I will probably also pass. They're... They have to go for the heal here. They do. do they have Command? They have one Command buff. How do I want to react to this? Maybe a stress heal? Let's do a stress heal here. Normal heal? I don't want to move forward. They just pulled me after that. Uh, I guess. Oh, 14. Wow. Unless they crit the Xang now, I'll be alive here with, uh, with the flash. Yeah. That's actually pretty good. Oh, the stress, though. They're gonna drop back down to zero and take an extra five stress. That's really good for me. They're gonna go Xang now. Oh, they don't get a crit on it. They actually don't get a crit on it. They're still dropping down to zero. They're gonna have to drop their Redeem next round. And now I can drop a Panic Darts. I don't know how that, ma how that act out makes sense, but... You do you, Grave Robber. Let's drop the, the Panic Darts here on the Manor Arms. Maybe he gets a pass or something. That would, uh, that would be wonderful. If he passes, let's see, he gets Selfish. Okay, that's that's reasonable. I like Selfish. I like Selfish on that MAA. I really hope I win this match. I don't want this to go into a match number three. It's already been 13 rounds, okay? <laughs> I have... Yeah, another pass! Oh my god! How do they keep passing, man? How? How is it possible? Medela sends Fearful. Ah, okay, now we got it right. It is Fearful, Medela. It is Fearful. Yeah, you are you are very much correct. It is the fearful that's messing you up. Okay, we drop a heal here. Get rid of all that, all that nasty, not juicy stress. And come on, come on, pass. 
no, no pass, no pass. Would have been great. Beautiful, say no to the guard. You have to guard here, you have to guard. If you don't guard, you lose the occultus and you lose the match. I think. I think. Yeah, but no, you have to guard here. You need to keep the intelligence alive. Even though he's been very useless, you still need to keep him alive. There's literally no other play. In my opinion. In my opinion. They might not do that, but I feel like they should definitely keep that occultist alive. Oh, was it a desync? No! No, why the desync? No, this match was being so exciting. Why the desync, Matt? Was there a desync? Oh yeah, the, 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 they went offline. They went offline. I think their internet crashed there. That is so unfortunate. That is actually so unfortunate. Well, I'm gonna say I don't know who was winning that match. I think it was. I think it was pretty close. They had one more heal on their flash than I did. And this isn't a very competitive mess of three, so I don't really mind giving them the W or whatnot, but this video's already gone on long enough, and now their internet crashed, but big GG's to Medela anyway. I think I probably would have won that. Probably. Not sure. Not sure. I mean, Grave Robert is such a strong character. Yeah, it was it was definitely very close. Well, what would happen there? And the Glorious Standard with the Inspiring Cry. Yeah, this, this is something that is very helpful. Very, very helpful against those... Uh, against those pesky occultists and even the abominations because those are the teams that kind of have a better matchup against this because this is more of an anti-damage team with the setup that you've got so if you have this tool here to deal with the stress teams it is going to be uh, quite uh, quite a turning point I, I feel i feel like it definitely helped me get a lot closer to winning that match so anyway hope you all enjoyed today's video and i'll see you again another time cheers